going to start off by saying, oh, my bloody camera just changed again. It keeps changing, it goes like really green, so if I look really green in this video, I don't actually look as green in person, honestly. Hi Alfie! He's hiding. Anyway, I'm going to try and make this video as quick as possible. I have had to make it twice, which is really, really frustrating. Basically, this video is going to be about um, what I use when I wash my hair and stuff like that and sort of some tips and tricks on how to grow it. Um, I'm going to say the bit that I forgot to say in my last video so I don't forget to say it in this one if that makes sense. Um, I talk, I'm going to talk about things, I'm looking over here for my laptop because it's going to remind me. Um, shampoos, conditioners, masks, oils, vitamins, massages and heat protectants. I also want to start off by saying I don't put heat on my hair but when I do, I use a heat protectant, <laughs> and I'll show you what it is. But as for shampoos and conditioners, I'll start off with shampoo. I use this shampoo. I use the mane and tail. Um, this is mainly, I use this mane, mane, get it, mane and tail. Anyway, I use this mainly to uh, grow my hair. I don't use it for condition or anything like that, um, because I don't think that it makes my hair soft. I would say it makes it shiny, stronger, but... My main aim of the game is to grow it. Um, I haven't been using it long enough to be able to tell you if it does make my hair grow. But in about two weeks, one week, I will measure it again to see if there is any change. So this is my growth shampoo that I use. Um, and I wash my hair every other day. I try to sort of leave it at least every other day or every other two days. Uh, it can be sometimes difficult. Because I get quite sort of greasy hair quite quickly. So this is the sort of growing shampoo that I'll use. I will link everything... Um, eventually, <laughs> honest, um, down below where I got it from and if you want to find out any more about it. If I forget to mention it, I think it should be down there. Um, so yeah, this is the Mane and Tail um, shampoo. Put it in the basket so I know that I've spoken about it. Along with that, I do use the Mane and Tail conditioner. Um, this, for me, isn't very softening, so I will use another conditioner as well. But I use this to just double up with this to hope to God that it does something. Um, so I use this together, I'll use this first and I'll leave this on for like a minute and then wash it off. As I said, I'll list everything down below. Um, when I do want to use a conditioner or a mask after them shampoos and conditioners, this is my favourite one at the moment. Um, it is the Fudge Dynamite for intense, to intensely repair hair for tortured hair. I wouldn't say my hair's tortured, but because it's for tortured hair, it's going to be very thick, it's going to be very moisturising, it's going to be very conditioning, and they're the kind of factors that I want in a conditioner, and that is what it provides. Um, this is £22, you get a litre of it for £22, um, and I think this is really, really good. I put about four pumps of this, four, maybe three, dependent on how much comes out at one time, and it literally, you can put it on your roots to your ends, it does suggest that on the back. Um, without you having to worry about getting really oily hair. I have only just started using this, but already I can tell that I'm absolutely going to love it. And I just, because of it, today I can actually get my hands like, I mean, look at that. It's just lovely, blooming lovely. Just running my fingers through my hair. So what I'll do is I'll leave this on for about five minutes. Or if I really want a deep condition, I'll leave it on for like 10 to 20. Or yeah. So that is what I'll use, it looks like this, it's, it's fudge dynamite, and I'll link everything below. That's really cool, it looks really nice in your bathroom as well. Um, if I don't want to use that, which it's very rare that I won't want to, um, I'll use my macadamia, macadamia? macadamia um, natural oil hair mask. Uh, this is £24 for 250ml. Um, is it worth the hype? I don't really know yet, I've only used it once, um, so it's quite difficult to tell. I didn't find it that amazing. I know, shoot me. Um, but it was okay. So maybe next time I use it, I'll like it more. Um, who knows? But I'll use this if I don't use that. Also, if you are a bit worried that you can't sort of get any of this stuff, you just want to go into a supermarket and get it all. Um, Mask-wise, I do also really like the Tresemme um, for hair prone to breakage and split ends. Um, you can get this in pretty much any supermarket or drugstore. So that's a good alternative. If you want a cheaper alternative or one that you can just grab, um, this is a really good alternative as well. I leave this on for like an hour while with a plastic bag over my head. It's really good like that. So that's really awesome as well. Um, if I want to 
uh, put a bit of protein in my hair because I feel like my hair is lacking in a bit of protein. Um, I will use the Lee Stafford hair growth treatment for hair that never grows, oh, grows past a certain length. Um, I have used all the Redkin shampoos and stuff like that, but I'm just doing my current hair care routine. If you want to see like all the other reviews on everything else that I've done, I'll do a completely different video on that. But uh, that will be a long video because I have used a lot of stuff. Um, but the Lee Stafford hair growth treatment for hair that won't go past a certain length is protein based treatment that you use in between shampoo and conditioning. Um, I don't use this as much now because I use a lot of other things but if I feel that my hair needs that bit of boost I will whack this on. <coughs> um, if I do use heat on my hair which I don't at the moment um, I will use a heat protectant, I will use the Tresemme um, heat protectant. I'm sure a lot of you are aware of this one because a lot of people go on about it. Um, it is just the heat defence up to 230 degrees protection, um, styling spray, and it is the best heat protectant ever. I, w I would rather not use a heat protectant if it had to be anything else. Like, if I ran out of this, I would just not use any other heat protectant. I would, seriously, this or nothing, I'm afraid. Um, I've used a lot of heat protectants, and this is my all-time favourite. And I love the little pump. Um, as for dry shampoos... Um, I have used the Lee Stafford dry shampoo. I wasn't a massive fan of it, um, but hey ho. Um, I, of course, you probably will know this one. This is the Batiste, 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 whatever you want to call it, um, dry shampoo. It's the cherry one. Have you seen the massive cans that they've got of it now? It's like two times the size of this. Like, <laughs> great. Um, this isn't my favourite one, but I do like this one. Um, I like it, so you know it's it's okay. Um, I like the tropical one better. Um, but, yep, yeah, this is what one I'll use um, until I run out of it. Uh, if I'm having a bit of an oily day and I can't be able to wash my hair, um, that's what I'll use. If I find that my scalp is getting really, really itchy, sometimes, for no reason whatsoever, I will just get a really, really itchy scalp. And it is the most infuriatingest thing in the world because I have to use head and shoulders. I have tried the Alberto Balsam uh, tea tree um, one, which is like a pound. I've tried, oh, God... I've tried a lot of tea tree ones and uh, eucalyptus one, but unfortunately the head and shoulders one is the only one that actually works. Um, cringe. I don't like head and shoulders. <laughs> but if you just put it on your roots, you're fine. Um, also, it's really good for cleansing and stimulating your scalp um, because it's got that cooling effect and that promotes hair growth, <coughs> which is wicked. Um, all of this stuff, I would say, is very, very good for hair growth. Um, just saying. Um, oil wise I will only really use three unless I've run out of one then I'll use my backup one but hey ho life a bitch um, this is the Moroc oil just Moroc not Moroccan um, hair treatment enriched with oil from the Moroccan argan oil tree it looks like this I got this from Sainsbury's and it was about £12 a little does go a long way as you can see I've had it for about six months um, so yeah that, that's one that I use as I say I'll try and link everything that I have here below um, if I feel like my hair needs a bit of moisture, a bit more moisture, or if I haven't got that one or if this one's just out, I will use the um, Nourishing Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Serum. I prefer this compared to the Redkin Anti-Snap. Yes, I just said that as well. Um, a lot more affordable, this one as well. I get this from my supermarket. I sometimes put a little bit of it on my dry hair, just at the ends. Um, never at the roots, because God's sake, Amber, you, you're not doing yourselves any favours, love. Um, so yeah, that's really good as well. Also, coconut oil and milk is brilliant. I've got a pot of coconut oil down there that's absolutely brilliant for oil treatments. Like, if you want to put oil on your hair before you wash it or something, either olive oil or coconut oil. I always, remember, re I always recommend coconut oil, um, if I can find it. I got this one from Tesco's. Um, it looks like this. Um, it's quite expensive. It was like £7, but hey, a little goes a long way. Um, and you just like massage it into your scalp and all in your lengths of your hair and it's really good stimulant for um, like preventing breakage, making your hair happy and sort of it's just good for you, it's just good for you, just trust me it's good for you um, so yeah, some people actually just eat this, it's just like oh, rather put it on my hair, <laughs> smells amazing or if I want a nice shine over my hair I will use the organics um, Moroc renewing Moroccan argan oil weightless reviving dry oil 
Um, other than their oils of the organics range, I will not use their shampoos or conditioners or anything like that. Um, I have done a review on the organic shampoos and conditioners. Check that out if you want to be put off. It's not very nice. If I'm not using the Mane and Tail um, shampoo and I just want to use like a normal shampoo one day, uh, which I doubt because that's going really well at the moment, I will just use the Tresemme um, Luxurious Moisture for dry dull hair shampoo. Um, this is actually very good and I like the conditioner to it as well. Um, so, yeah, awesome. Right. As for growing hair, other than the main and tail, the hair growth treatments and all that la la mumbo jumbo blah blah stuff, some people say to me, oh, do you recommend getting trims? I recommend getting trims if you really do have dead hair. Um, your hair doesn't grow from your ends, your hair grows from your roots. But if you've got split ends, you've got like this much hair like down here and it's all split, it will work its way up and then split the rest of your hair, which will just then lead you in to get it cut off. Um, then my hair was really badly bleached. I had it trimmed twice. Um, I had an inch taken off the first time and half an inch taken off the second time. And I trust my hairdresser with my life. She literally, she says half an inch, she's going to take off half an inch. She's not going to take off like six inches. It's ridiculous. I'm terrified of going to hairdressers. So yes, um, trims are good. I usually go every eight weeks. Um, because of I don't put heat on it or stuff now, I'm going to leave it a lot longer till I go for my next trim. Because I want like some of my shorter layers that I had cut in quite a while ago to start catching up. Um, so I'm sort of putting that off. But other than that, I'm sort of, you know, just leaving it to do its thing. Whatever it wants to do, I'll go with it. Um, so you have got to be sort of dedicated to your hair. I do recommend not dyeing it. It is tough, um, but not dyeing it is good. If you do have to dye it, use a semi-permanent, like a casting cream, because they're so lovely. Um, that's all I'll use now, um, unless I do permanently want to dye my hair. Um, as for brushes... Please don't brush your hair when it's wet unless you're using either a tangle teaser or a wide tooth comb. Um, brush wise, again, as I say, even if your hair's not wet, I don't. F I used to use a paddle brush, and I never knew any different until a tangle teaser and a wide tooth comb came along. It took a video like this to tell me about it, to sort of look into it. Um, I do recommend getting a tangle teaser. They look like this. They can be quite expensive. Don't get the fake ones. People are trying to remake them, and they're faking, and they're not the same. And um, they got like this. They've got. Uh, long bristles and short bristles which means they can sort of adequately choose what hair to brush and when to sort of brush it without ripping your hair out um it pre it, it prevents breakage which obviously is brilliant because you don't want your hair to be breaking because obviously then you're gonna get split ends your hair's gonna snap off um it's not gonna be very nice you might have a bit down here one day you might brush your hair so it might end up up here this prevents all of that they're really really flexible bristles they're really like people friendly if you've never seen them before look them up they're five star ratings all over google um youtube love them rave about them i love them i won't use anything else other than a white tooth comb if i can't find this but i will find this i'd rather go out looking like i've been pulled through a bush backwards so tangle teaser or white tooth comb for brushing your hair and don't use anything other than that, especially if you're brushing wet hair. Please don't. As for head massages, sounds weird. I get that. I I rub my head at least 10 minutes a day. At least. Especially when I'm going to bed and I've got nothing to do and I'm just sitting there just like... You know, in lessons I'm sitting here like this. When I go around my boyfriend's house, he sits there playing with my hair and I'm like, actually, no, just do that. <laughs> you know? Just because <laughs> it's good for me. Oh. I'll thank you at the end of that, I promise. So yeah, um, you can either use oil, use your natural oil if it's like produced, or just go in without, you know. <laughs> um, not hard, don't use your nails because it's not very nice. And just gently just massage your head all round, all underneath. Um, I sometimes tip my head upside down. Um, I think it's called inversion or something, I don't know what it is, but it's when the blood flow goes in the opposite direction. Um, I wouldn't recommend it especially if you've got high blood pressure, if you're pregnant, anything like that, because, um, you know, making your blood go the opposite direction to where it should be going, just don't do it. I'll do a whole other video on it if you want me to do it, but I don't really recommend it. I usually just sit up and, you know, massage my head. Um, so, yeah, just gently just massage your head. It does feel quite nice. Um, if you're just watching telly or something, or if you've got nothing else to do, or if you've got oil on your hair, just give your head a nice massage all round. It stimulates blood flow and it's just very very good for hair and it does work um 
maybe more so for other people, but I do it without fail at least for 10 minutes every day. It might be five minutes in the morning, five minutes at night. <laughs> it might be 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at night, whatever. 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at night. I don't do it for 20 minutes. Oh, you know what I mean? It might be, I might even do it in the morning or I might do it at night. <sighs> Also, for growing hair, they say have a healthy diet and drink loads of water. Yes, 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 we know, but yeah, I know it's hard, especially if you like food. Or if you just go for a jog or hula hoop, I hula hoop, it's great fun. Or just drink more water. If you if you don't really want to eat healthily, then just drink more water. Best way. Um, I find because I don't always eat healthily, I do try, I do try. <laughs> um, I take vitamins this is my vitamin bag and the vitamins that I take for hair growth particularly are Wilkinson's Hair Skin and Nails these are just cheap and cheerful and they're actually the best hair skin and nails habits I've ever used um, I take pure biotin on its own this stuff is absolutely fantastic for growing your hair I cannot recommend it enough um, I get it from Holland and Barrett I take 2,000 UGs a day, they are 1,000 individually, but I take them twice a day. Um, so I take this once a day for my hair, this once a day for my hair, twice a day for, oh, fucking hell, twice a day for my hair, once a day for my hair. I take evening primrose oil, um, all over, just good health. Um, it's good for girls at the time of the month as well. Nice, didn't need that if you're a bloke, sorry. Um, but yeah, this is also really good for your hair. It's, I'll show you, it's actually oil based completely. Um, it can give you a bit oily hair, but hey ho, who cares, right? If your hair's growing and it's lovely, worth it. Um, I also take an overall multivitamin, um, just so I don't lack in anything because I do take quite a lot of vitamins. It just looks like this. Um, it's just an ABC Holland and Barrett overall vitamin. And last but not least, I take cod liver oil. Bloody hell, Amber, we're on one, love. <laughs> I take cod liver oil. <laughs> kind of looks like evening primrose. So yeah, and them vitamins work really well for hair growth. Um, as I said, I will link everything down below if you want to know where to get it, where you, what it is, if I've forgot anything. Um, I hope this helps. I hope you had, had, have, love. Um, have a brilliant day and I shall see you soon. Like, comment and subscribe.